Hey yo, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to install DOS 4 aka DOS 310.1 in support game. So as you may know, DOS Whopper right now just got recent update to version 1.1. .1. So for those who haven't had the software yet, I will put a link in my description below. So when you first install the software, the game section will be empty as well as the library. So you can fix this by click the refresh button and it will show up like this. You can download any version you want. Same thing for fame generation, ray reconstruction, FSR xas and for the game section you need to uncheck this box and check it again it will show up like this you can also group game by the library like steam epic game store it's up to you and right now it's not only support swap the dos but also uh, DOS fame generation, rate, rate reconstruction, FSR, XCS, and everything. So when you click into the game, uh, it will have a lot of options like uh, when you click it, you can swap when you download and you can swap to the latest version like you can see my Cyberpunk 27, I use all the latest version in fam generation and ray rec reconstruction and it also have the option to reset to its original but if your game is not working fine like crashing missing option or anything you can reset to it original and for those that don't have the OS fam generation supported like myself because I have a Thirty sixty Ti. You can also download the mod. I will put a link in my description below. You can download the mod that change DOS fame generation to FSR three fame generation. Use the version files. Just copy these two into your game directory example I have my cyberpunk game di directory here I have the DLSG to FSR DLL file here and the version file down here and the last thing you need to do is go into your window setting system display and go into your graphic setting and turn on the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling turn it on okay so now I'm gonna test some game for you guys to see the result so after we do everything like uh, cyberpunk volume setting so right now I'm at full HD and the graphic I got DOS Super Resolution Transformer Model I'm using DOAA with DOS Fem Generation Mod uh, everything is high I'm turn up Ray Tracing Crowd Density is high Fill 100 and turn on everything here turn up Motion Blur like everything is is max setting here so since I have a uh, cyberpunk in epic game so I gotta use another app to show you guys the APS so let's get into it So right now I'm having 
around 80 70 fps yeah when I spring it's around it's still around 70 you like let's see if you driving It dropping to sickly. It's too fine sickly. So as you can see in my Dragon Dogma 2, I also use the latest version of DOS and fem generation. For the Dragon Dogma 2, the same thing apply to Cyberpunk. You just need to have a file. DOSG to FFR3 DL file here and the version file here. You don't need to delete the SATA cache anymore. The Dragon Dogma 2. So, having so I'm playing Dragon Dogma 2 at uh, 1080p. So, I have quality DOS resolution. Uh, DOS fem generation mod is on. Ray tracing is on. Res screen space reflection is at max max quality. I have only seven gigabyte, eight gigabyte of VRAM, so I'm using at high, high need a shadow tree and is high. I have shadow cache and contact shadow on, on turn off motion blur type of view I got bloom lens fire is on yeah okay so I'm having 120 130 FPS If you move it's gonna drop a little bit Yeah, this is like I'm right now In the city I'm not in the Like uh, I'm not in The big city like uh, Like Burn Wolf but it's still having around over a hundred FPS. So, so the game is looking fine. You can do, you can play smoothly. In my Horizon for the West, I also use a latest version. And in Stranger of Paradise, I also use the latest version. All game, all my game are working fine. So I use the latest version. I'm not recommend using for a game like the first descendant. I recommend keeping is original, so you don't have like crashing or missing option. Space Marine two is the same thing. So like I said before. You just need to copy the DOSG DOL file and the version file to Horizon Form in West game directory. So my last game for this video is Horizon Form in West. I'm playing at 1080p reflect on plus boost. I'm having DOS quality with fem generation mod basically at max setting I only turn up depth of field in radical blur and chromatic aberration
So I'm having around 130 FPS, one like 120. When you move, when you're moving around, it's gonna be jarring at. Yeah, the game is feel smooth, but it have some frame chain that you see at the top left corner, like. Yeah, you can see. So when you add the light, we got some frame generation. You can see it. But overall, the game feels smooth and have no problem at all.